I was, I was, since I'm a member of the LA Conservancy, I was caught up in the old drama about trying to save it. And it bothered me a great deal when, when, when it was going to be torn down. And they said, well, we'll make the exception. We'll, we'll, tour, we'll tear down the hotel, but we're going to keep the Grove. You know, the Grove will keep, you know, because that'll be our auditorium. And then, you know, a month later, they said, oh, actually, no, we're not. We're not going to keep that either. So. the wall, right? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, my thing is I, I collect historic artifacts. I, I find them, uh, you know, I can't afford the millions and millions of dollars it would cost to buy an amazing building like the Ambassador, but I can liberate pieces of these buildings. And this this was a uh, this was a small piece of the Ambassador Hotel. I don't know what part of the hotel this came from. I have the vaguest idea. But if you think about this being a wall, and you think about the things this wall heard, you know the echoes that 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 hit these these bricks. You know, to me, that's 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 really important and, and should be respected. And I and I hope one day I'll have a, uh, a a museum or something where I can actually put these things in, so other people can see it. They can't touch the Ambassador Hotel anymore; it's gone. But they can touch this, and this is a piece of the hotel. So I think that's I think that that's that's my little way of preserving history. And also, somebody gifted me with a couple of a uh, couple of small spoons from the Ambassador can as well. Can you pull them up a little? What's that? <laughs> Just so you can see it on camera. <laughs> so these, uh, you know, I mean, you don't know who used these. You know, they could have been just stuck in a drawer for a hundred years, or you know, I think Kennedy could have used them or something. You know, you never know. So uh, you know, the potential. Well, no, these are these are very historic. They have the uh, the little ambassador logo etched into them. And I went to the uh, to the auction, the last auction that they had, and they were selling garbage, basically. You know, it was four mica tables and, and doors, and it was just. It was really, you know, not nice stuff, but on the other hand, I wish I had bought one, you know, because at the beginning, they were giving away these lamps, these ugly 70s lamps, um, <laughs> you know, for 20, 30 bucks. And then towards the end of it, people were really caught up into it, and these stupid doors of the hotel were going for, you know, a thousand dollars just to get this door with a doorknob that may have been in some pantry, not the pantry probably, because I would have been all over that. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, but you know these the you know they're, you're, these are history these are pieces of history and I would love to have gone through the rooms because also uh, you know so many other things happened there uh, you know during the Manson trial the jurors were sequestered in the ambassador for nine months and they had held their Christmas in the ambassador hotel because of uh, because they were forbidden to leave and there there are lots of photographs of the room saying you know bah humbug because they were stuck in the hotel their families could come and visit for the day but. Uh, you know, and so it's it's and and it's fun to see it in movies too. Occasionally, you know, we'll be watching SWAT, uh, that that um, Colin Farrell movie, and and there there are the uh, elevators, and I don't know if, how, if anybody else would recognize them. Probably a lot of people would, but uh, but being there, it's all ingrained in my mind now, and uh, and it's neat to see it. So somehow, in some way, it still lives. Now, what I thought was really spectacular was. Uh, Emilio Estevez's just film Bobby. When when he did that film, that was I mean I could tell what was done in the hotel. I could tell what wasn't done in the hotel, and some of it was really you know obvious that it wasn't filmed in the hotel, but it was meant to look that way. But they did do a lot, and and that, that is really neat. And to, for the last production in the Ambassador Hotel to be devoted to probably the most famous event that ever occurred in the hotel, one of the most important events in um, in uh, American history. And oddly, at that time when it was come out, it was sort of ringing true again. You know, people were not happy, and uh, American people weren't generally very happy about things. So when they when they played uh, the Bobby Kennedy speech during the movie, it was it was especially moving.